All right, so we're going to be uh, sketching uh, logarithmic functions in this video. Uh, now, you would have sketched uh, exponential functions before, uh, in, in something like this. Um, step one was find the basic shape. Step two was the asymptote. Step three was find the y-intercept. And step four was either find a significant point or an x-intercept. We're going to follow this pretty closely, uh, but there's going to be some surprises along the way, uh, just some different ways of doing things. So uh, let's, but the, the basic idea is still the same. All right, so uh, step one, ask yourself, uh, what's the basic shape? Okay, so the basic shape, pretty obvious here. There's no negative out the front, and there's no negative in front of the x. So the basic shape, according to what we've looked at before, so it's a positive uh, logarithm with a positive x value, it's going to look like this. Okay, so let's just go back here. So according to our basic shape, it's going to have, it's going to look something like this. Now we don't know where the asymptote is yet, we haven't got to that. Um, we don't know where the x-intercept is. We don't know whether it has a y-intercept or not. All we know is it has this basic shape. So traveling towards an asymptote here and sort of disappearing off to the right over here. Uh, so that's step one. Step two is the asymptote. We need to find that asymptote. Now when we were doing exponentials we had a um, a horizontal asymptote. In this one we've got a vertical asymptote. Now going back to exponentials, finding the asymptote was really easy. You just looked at the d value and that told you your asymptote. That does not work here. We need a different formula for finding the asymptote. Now uh, this function is not defined or a logarithm is not defined when this is equal to zero. So if this was, if we had ln 0, if you typed natural log 0 into your calculator, why don't I try it? If you type natural log of 0 into your calculator, uh, it's going to freak out and tell you it's, uh, it's either going to tell you error or this calculator is doing something really weird and telling me it's negative infinity. Um, in any case, it's not really defined. It doesn't really work. And that's actually what an asymptote is. It's where something isn't defined. So to find our asymptote, we let, let 2x plus 3 equals 0. Okay, so if we let 2x plus 3 equals 0, we'll find out where our asymptote is. So 2x equals negative 3, x equals negative 3 on 2, uh, so x equals negative 1.5. So that that's our asymptote. So by letting this thing here equal zero, that's how we'll find our asymptote. A little more difficult than the exponential where we just looked at the d value. All right, so moving on a little bit, we know that it has that basic shape and we now know that it has an asymptote at x equals negative 1.5. Okay, so I can put a dotted line here at x equals negative 1.5 and that's going to be our asymptote and we know that our equation has a basic shape that looks like this um, something like that so we know that it travels towards that asymptote down here and it heads off into space here at the right and upwards um, it's interestingly in this particular one we're going to have both an x-intercept and a y-intercept that's not always the case sometimes you'll just have an x-intercept but in this one we'll have an x and a y okay so step three now you can either find the x-intercept or the y-intercept here in step three um, because logarithmic functions always have x-intercepts I'm going to find the x-intercept here uh, if you compare that to the exponential function I was always finding the y-intercept here because they always have y-intercepts. Okay so to find the x-intercept you let um, to find an x-intercept of anything you let y equal 0 so 0 equals ln 2x plus 3 plus 5 that means that negative 5 equals ln 2x plus 3 now from here we can write this in exponential form. 
so negative 5 equals natural log, so that's log base e 2x plus 3. We can re -re rewrite this as e to the negative 5 equals 2x plus 3. Now, if you're not following that, uh, remember that logarithmic form and exponential form, uh, we can write any equation in both forms. So I've just rewritten this in a different form. Uh, now we can pretty much solve that. Um, I'll just, what I'll do is move that positive 3 over here to make negative 3. So e to the negative 5 minus 3 equals 2x. And I can just finish that off. Just scroll down a little bit. X equals, uh, actually, let's make ourselves some more room over here. Uh, e to the negative 5 minus 3 over 2 equals X. And we can get our calculator out and see what... All right, so I've just typed it in here. E to the negative 5 minus 3 divided by 2. That should give us negative 1.49. Okay, that's uh, negative 1.4966. Um, just get rid of my calculators here. X equals negative 1.4966. Now, I wouldn't normally keep so many decimals, but we've got a bit of a problem here. Um, you can see that it's incredibly close to our uh, asymptote itself. So if I was to sketch it from step three, you can see we have x equals negative 1.5. And right up close to that, right here, we have um, our x-intercept. Now our x-intercept is negative 1.49660. Okay, so it's really, really close to our asymptote. Now the last bit that we need to do is find out where our function crosses the y-axis. Um, and so we can do that by finding the y-intercept. So step four, find the y-intercept and we always find the y-intercept the same way let x equal 0 so that'll be y equals uh, ln 2 times 0 plus 3 uh, plus 5 all right, so 2 times 0 is 0. It's not 2. I know people stuff that up a lot. ln 3 plus 5. Okay, now again, we get our calculator out wherever it is. Um, ln 3 plus 5. And we get 6.09 my screen go 6.09 okay and we can finally finish off sketching this whole thing uh, I'll just finish it by putting it in there this isn't the right way to do it but it'll do for now okay so finally our y intercept is at 0 6.09 so this is a really dodgy looking sketch of this whole uh, equation. Uh, we can uh, just do do it again. Just add a new layer on top of this. Um, so I'm just going to draw over the top of everything and then get rid of it later. Here's my Cartesian plane. We have a um, asymptote. at this point here, which is um, negative 1.50. Now we have an x-intercept very, very close to that at um, negative 
1.4966 and we have an x intercept up here at um, 0 6.09 and we can draw our function getting close to the asymptote but not touching it touching there and then curving around touching here and then heading off up there and it looks like that okay magic technology etc etc there's all of the working involved um, make sure that when once you've done it all, you don't have to draw it as the sketch at each step of the way. That was just me explaining it. But once you know what the basic shape is, the asymptote, the x-intercept, and the y-intercept, make sure that you sketch something fairly neat, something that looks a little bit like that. Okay, uh, that is uh, sketching logarithmic functions.